Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Dr. Garima Soni. Let's look at today's top medical news. Study finds potential liver risk from popular herbal supplements. A study published in JAMA Network Open reveals that about 5% of adults are exposed to six potentially hepatotoxic botanicals, which are largely unregulated products typically used to improve health or treat minor health complications. The use of herbal and dietary supplements is rapidly increasing worldwide due to their perceived health benefits. With over 80,000 products available at various unregulated retail outlets, these supplements can be purchased without a prescription. The most common categories include multivitamins, minerals, vitamin D, omega-3 fatty acids and calcium. However, these products do not require approval from the Food and Drug Administration before being marketed. As a result, there is often a lack of thorough safety and efficacy assessments. In the current study, scientists have determined population level estimates of exposure to six potentially hepatotoxic botanicals including turmeric or curcumin, green tea, Garcinia cambogia, black cohosh, red yeast rice and ashwagandha. Potential benefits of omega-3 fatty acids for brain health in older adults study finds. A recent Dharma Network Open study assesses the role of omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids in reducing white metal lesion accumulation and neuronal integrity degeneration in older adults. The accumulation of cerebral white metal lesion is linked to an elevated risk of cognitive decline and Alzheimer's disease. The underlying pathophysiological me mechanism include the diminished regenerative capacity of oligodendrocytes, reduced cerebral blood flow, breakdown of the blood-brain barrier and activation of endothelial cells. The current placebo-controlled, quadruple-blinded and randomized controlled trial treatment stratification was carried out using the apolipoprotein E4 allele carrier status. In all results were compared against the placebo group. Study finds Western diets are harming global health with high cost of processed foods. In a recent study published in the journal, Nature Medicine researchers review the adverse effect of Western diets on human health. The increased consumption of processed food products that are high in refined sugars, fats and salts has been observed throughout the world. This shift in dietary habits, which is often referred to as the westernization of diets, has been largely attributed to the affordability and availability of these food products. Despite the economic advantages of a western diet, regular consumption of these foods can significantly raise the risk of both chronic and non-communicable diseases. These include stroke, ischemic brain disease, myocardial infarction, ischemic heart disease, obesity, type 2 diabetes, metabolic dysfunction related fatty liver disease, inflammatory bowel disease and colon cancer. Study finds drug bypasses suppressive immune cells to enhance immunotherapy. In a recent study published in the journal Nature, by recruiting the immune system to combat tumor cells, immunotherapy has improved survival rates, offering hope to millions of cancer patients. However, only about the 1 in 5 people responded favorably to these treatments. With the goal of understanding and addressing immunotherapy's limitations, researchers at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis have found that the immune system can be its own worst enemy in the fight against cancer. Cancer vaccines represent a new approach to personalized cancer immunotherapy aimed at the mutant proteins specific to a patient's tumor such as vaccines induced killer T cells to attack tumor cells while leaving healthy cells unharmed. Sheba's group previously showed that more effective vaccines also activate helper T cells, uh, the immune cell type that recruit and expand additional killer T cells to destroy the tumors. But when they tried to add increased amounts of the helper T cells target to supercharge the vaccine, they found that they had generated a different type of T cell that inhibited rather than promoted tumor rejection. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates in Medical Dialogues. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.